on a brand new snake out in the middle of Australia. Now, a lot of people will claim this snake is found in New South Wales. Many people like to say it's in their town because they're trying to make the town sound tougher. It is not found anywhere in New South Wales. Same thing too, I come out here a lot, people tell me how there's taipans out here. There are no taipans in New South Wales or Southern Australia because the cold weather would kill them. They were tropical snakes. <laughs> they only found in Northern Australia. But everybody will tell you how they've got frill necks down here and they've got taipans and all these other things. They're not found here. You think you've got a frill neck around here? You've got a bearded dragon. It's got a frill too. It sticks under its face and everybody goes, it's a famous frill neck. Why are there no crocodiles down here? It's got lovely rivers, but it's too cold. They would die. Frurex and taipans, things like that are tropical animals that like crocodiles need all year round heat. They can't take cold weather. So people tell you they've got all these animals down here that don't exist. This animal is quite often told by people that's in their towns and it's not. It's only found in southwestern Queensland and the top parts of South Australia along the famous Birdsville Track. What have they named the snake when they found it? They named it the Fear Snake. F-I-E-R-C-E. -E. What type of snake is it? It's a Fear Snake, that's its name. Now I'm not saying it's a snake that's fierce. The name of this snake, like brown snake and red belly black, is fierce snake. The Australian fierce snake. That's what it is. Now when they found this new snake, and they looked at the them and they got the shock of their life. The scientists fell off their chair in shock. They never expected to see a snake stronger than a brown before they found one. And he wasn't just slightly stronger. He was over four times more toxic than the brown. Now the brown was impressive. The world's deadliest snake at 12 times the cobra. The fear snakes come in at 50. 50, 50 times deadlier than the cobra. Wow. Now, the Americans have this belief that the rattlesnakes are super deadly. And the most dangerous rattlesnake in America is the Eastern Diamondback. You see it on all the, car the, the cowboy shows. Okay, this snake is 840 times more toxic than that rattlesnake in America. The Americans wouldn't know a poisonous snake and they fell on one. That's a poisonous snake. Now, wow. Junior here is only a youngster, born in my house about four years ago. Already he's about a metre and a half long. I can tell you he's got a lot more growing to do yet. He'll get up to over two and a half metres. He doesn't have a very big head, but he doesn't really need it. If he got a hold of you now with that little head just chewing you for a second, just got a hold of you, just went eh, and let go, in that short little bite, he might have injected about six to eight little drops of venom. I mean, what's that going to do? That's nothing. Some of the other snakes are full half a beaker. Well, those six to eight little drops of venom are enough in your system now to kill a thousand fully grown men or ten elephants. Now, after hearing that, I still get people asking me, would you die if it bit you? What a dumb question. That's like saying if you stay, if you stay alive, you have a Tommy bomb goes up beside you. No, I'm pretty sure you're going to die. A better question would be if you're bitten by this snake, how long would you have to live? That's a great question. And the answer is, I don't know. Now, it's found along the Birdsville track. There are people living out there. I've been out there drinking in the Birdsville pub. Some of you might have too. Okay. There's people living out there, but no one gets bitten. Why? Because they know two very important things. One, they know every snake out in the middle of Australia is deadly. And the other thing they know is, there's no hospitals. If you're bitten by a deadly snake in the middle of Australia, you are going to die. And the closest hospital is one, two thousand kilometres away, you're not going to make it. So, what are the people who want to do out in the middle of Australia? When they see a snake, they leave them alone. They don't take any chances. They leave every snake alone that they see. They never go their way to kill it or chase it or do anything to it. They just leave them alone, they give them respect. And guess what? No one gets bitten by any snake out there. And you find most towns in far western New South Wales, if there's no hospitals, you never hear anybody getting bitten by snakes. Because those people know without a hospital to back them up, if they get bitten, they're going to die. And they leave snakes alone. And most people out in the bush know this. Now, it's only people who live in big towns who've got a hospital to back them up, who feel brave enough to go after snakes and attack them. They're the ones who get bitten and die. So this snake is never attacked by people out in the middle of the It's one of the ones left alone by the people out there. That's why it's never killed, although it's very capable. Now, a little girl got killed by a brown snake seven years ago at Armadale. She died in two hours. That was one of the fastest snake deaths recorded in the world. You might watch a movie if someone gets bitten by a snake. As soon as they get bitten, they go, Ugh, and die. What a load of rubbish. If anybody dies from a snake spider or a scorpion bite in under six hours, anywhere in the world, that's fast. A two-hour death is incredibly quick. I reckon you got bitten by one of these and got you in a blood vessel. You could be unconscious in about 20 seconds and possibly dead in two to four minutes. Not hours, minutes. This is why the Americans reckon this snake has the equivalent of an atomic bomb in its mouth. 
So we can feed our lucky stars. This snake doesn't live around people's backyards and the cities and around big towns where stupid people would have a go at it because we'd have dead people lying everywhere. So we're very lucky it's out in the middle of Australia where the people know to respect it. And people who live around towns who think it's good fun to kill snakes, this guy would kill them back real quick. Okay, I'm moving. It's reacting. Stand still. No reaction. Look. Put it here. Does nothing. Don't go in the box. Again, I move. You can see it's reacting to me. It doesn't like my movement. So stand still. It just stops. Instantly, all snakes are the same. And yet, I get people telling me, oh, no, Bob, the other day a snake saw me from 100 metres away and started chasing me. There's no snake in the world can see over three metres. So when someone tells you that, you just laugh at them. They don't know what they're talking about. Well, unfortunately, what happens is, most people see a snake coming in a direction. And all the snake's doing is just going in that direction. But if anybody sees a snake come towards them, they think it's chasing them. If you're crossing a road, you see a car coming down the road, and it's heading in your direction, you don't say to people, a car was coming down the road to run me over. It's just going down the road. Now, you don't get hit by the car, what do you do? You get off the road, get out of the way. You see a snake coming towards you, just go to the side, let it go past you. It's not chasing you at all. But this is what everybody expects snakes to be doing, they don't do it. Every time someone told me they've been chased by a snake, and I dissected their story down, you can see they didn't have a clue what the snake was doing. It wasn't chasing anybody. They physically can't chase you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed your show today. I hope you left here realising there's nothing to be scared of snakes. Show them respect. Always just drop in a bush and leave them alone. They don't hurt anybody. Remember, when you get told that you've got to kill a snake because it's dangerous, that's the only time a snake is dangerous, when you've got to kill it. You leave them alone, they don't bite you, they're as dangerous as a butterfly. Remember, they've got to bite to be dangerous, and they bite no one who leaves them alone. So when you go home today, you start telling people what you learned today, you're always going to get some idiot that's going to turn around and say, oh, I've been chased by a snake, you don't know what he's talking about. Do you have them explain to you how a deaf mind creature with no legs chased them? Okay, thanks so much, guy. Have a great day. You see the yellow on his belly? His old back's like that. You should have seen him three weeks ago before he shed. He was yellow. Two more sheds, you'd be jet black. So they're one of the few snakes that will actually do change colours. It takes a whole season to do it. Every time they shed their skin, they change it again. It's like a new snake underneath. But it's a seasonal thing to be, because the middle of Australia has amazing um, differences in temperature between summer and winter. So they're one of the snakes that actually change their colours to adapt to that middle of Australia. The very, very deadly snake. How do you pronounce its name again? Fierce, as in ferocious. Fierce? Yeah, fierce. The noun for ferocious, fierce. That's an inland fighting name. Yes, but we don't use that name because the normal people, just like everybody thinks the King Brown is a super deadly snake, if I said this is an inland taipan, people go, so that's a taipan. It's nothing like the taipan. Yeah. People don't understand this too. So by calling the fierce snake, it makes it different from the taipan. Do you have an inland one here? This is the inland. No, my taipans are too big.